What's up guys, it's your boy Pete and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related. If that tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button, sit back and enjoy the video. All right guys, so on today's video, you probably can tell, um, we are finishing up, trying to finishing up, um, complete brain fart and I'm sitting here looking at what I'm doing. Um, we're gonna continue planting up our props a lot of these um like some of the, a lot of these are for the shop um and then the other half is my personal half that is going back into my collection um usually just to make a fuller pot or if i just love the plant i just want multiples which usually means a fuller pot because i don't usually like multiples unless it's like my favorite is this plant and for that matter i have a full i don't know how many inch 16 inch pop full of those so yeah anyway um let's go ahead and get started now um i did get um someone did bet me um a planty friend bet to me that i would try to grow my collection in soil soil out of all substrate soil why you can say water I'm talking and not working. Why you couldn't say water or anything? It, it just had to be soil, you know. Um, you guys should know what this is. Uh, my handy dandy Sphagnum moss mix mulch perlite. Um, what is in here? Mulch perlite, so, garden soil, potting soil. These are all parts. Did I say perlite already? And that's it. Mulch, sphagnum moss, perlite, garden soil, and potting soil. Yeah, that's it. Um, this is what we're going to use to pot up, try to finish the pot up, the rest of these here cuttings. Um, what I'm going to do, those are mine. These are mine. Um, those are mine as well. I still have mine, um, like some of these that need to be potted. And then the rest for the shop, I don't know if I want to put a tetrasperma on there simply because of you can get these anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure your planty friend has some of these. They're probably already shared. But these were basically for the shop, um, for the project that we are working on. And to be honest with you, they're very slow to propagate. I mean, I don't know if it's just, um, let's see, let me cover my face. I don't know if it's, look, oh, no wonder this thing, the auto thing is stuck. Um, I don't know if it's just, there it is. If it's the time of the year or something but guys it's taking a long time for it to um propagate now my auto um thing is not working for some odd reason but anyway uh, i guess we're just going to have to um, keep it with the propagating i mean i see new growth points of course you're definitely always usually a good nine out of ten you'll see a growth point all right but there's always like no type of, um, there we go. There's like no type of, where is it? Where'd you go? There it is. There she is. Growth point, but you usually don't get to see much roots. I don't know. The last time I propagated these, did I ever propagate any? I can't remember. It's been so long ago. But anyway, let's this we spend too long just on that one. Um, so she has to wait. Let's get her out of the way. I'm definitely going to check on the rest of these here. Pink Princess. You know, a lot of these weren't ready when we did our propagation. Now, every single last one of my personal propagations, as you can see, there's a whole new leaf there. Um, has put out a leaf or maybe two already. So. I don't know. I was going to do those. I'm just stay talking. I was going to do those off of camera, to be honest with you, but I don't know. But let's check on some of these here. Prince I, if that's even a, a word. Um, and again, looking at some of these here roots, some of these can go. Let's just go ahead and start with these here. Hopefully, you guys can see. Normally, you know, I use my. Um, my little stand but I currently don't have it I currently don't have it on hand and none of these have bottoms to it so I can't 
it works but anyway um like these here a lot of these they have some rootage but not as much as i want them to have and again these as well this is why you guys um if you've been watching the videos this one is not ready um these are the same four that were in the last video pink princes that did not make the cut um we have a note that i'm going to put um in the prop box so of course these three are not ready oh god you guys the phone one second all right guys sorry about that um those four or three i can't remember um are not ready yet now this is one of the bigger props now some of these are um top cuttings kind of like this one here which is again is not much ready but she has a a good enough root sister owner there we go system owner to go ahead and propagate so I don't too much know about that one um, this one's the same well this one's a lot worse to be honest with you um, barely any roots on it and this leaf feel like it's fixing to go it's soft um, so it's only a matter of time a lot of these aren't as ready which i'm pretty sure most of these except from the, the top cuttings they are from the bottom of the plant um, this is the top cutting top cutting as well root system now this one definitely can go in um i probably could take off one more leaf but I won't. All right. Um, and then we have this one here, which also has a um, nice roof system on it. So I don't know, you guys. And that is, this is the one that has the double on it. That was hard to cut and make two. Oh my God. Okay. Well, it's one leafer now. It was two, but that happened. Great. All right. So the only one that I see that I I mean, I could technically pot all these up because they are going into the prop bin, but let's get this one. Let's start with this one here. This is the um, the top cutting. Let's get her down in, I guess, one of these here. Um, which some of these, they shouldn't take as long simply because of the process you know it's fairly easy um spag the moss plant spag the moss prop box fairly easy um now with some of these with these crazy roots definitely going to have to bury these here roots now um as i said before these here pink prints this will be fairly cheap um they're definitely easy to come by and um, I won't open shop, I think, until September, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so if you are looking for different plants, go over and check my Etsy shop. And all the ones that you have seen me propagate over here. Oh, let's stick that over there. Will be down in the, um, I don't know, you guys. So what if I put two? If I did like two per pot, I mean, is that a thing? I mean, I know it's a thing, but you know, is that a, a thing? I don't, I don't know, but um, let's, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and do half of these. Let's do the ones that have the most rootage on them. And again, um, there's usually enough root so it'll you know hold up on its own there's another one there um let's go ahead and pop this one up i definitely should wait let me take this one off because this leaf is coming off anyway um this has new growth on it but this one has three nodes so there's no telling how much plant this one is going to put out um this one has streaks of irrigation on it so there's no telling how it's going to turn out. Plus, it has three nodes to work with. So, with that being said, like, literally, who knows what is going on. All right. Let's 
stack the moss down in here. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but the weather is definitely changing. It's been raining for the past, I don't know how long, which I'm loving it. Uh, fairly humid, which makes it hot and sticky. Oh, sorry about that. What makes it hot and sticky, which I don't too much care. I mean, I would love, I don't know. It's, it's hard, you guys, because the sun itself drains you, but hot water in the air is not good at all. So I don't know. Let's get that in there. Wrap you around. And now this bag of, um, <coughs> excuse me, this bag of sphagnum moss just was full of the new bag that I just did. Um, it's freaking full of those little stick thingies. It's aggravating. I'm gonna have to go through and pull them all out. There's just a lot going on. All right, so there we go. It's another top cutting here. Um, and again, oh. All right, and I think there are, okay, we're doing good. There are four more on that end. Um, where is the time? We're like five. All right, guys, so what we're going to do, I'm going to switch you guys over into um, the greenhouse so that you're not, of course, sitting here watching me pop every single last one of these up. So um, I will see you guys once I'm through out there. All right. All right, guys, we made it to this part of the video. Um, hopefully this fan is not aggravating everyone because it's, it's rattling and getting on my last nerve. But we made it to this part of the video. Um, of course, I don't want you guys to sit there and watch me playing up props. So we're just going through again for like the 15th time this week. <laughs> um, we're just going in and clearing, you know, some of the dead leaves. A lot of these you've already seen um especially me cleaning spraying propagating now the goal was after literally you know getting up the dead stuff i was going to come over here and do this corner don't worry about the micans i have a project going on with the micans this vine you guys is probably about 20 feet long as you can see where she grows and i just kind of when she does grow, as you can see like this, what I do, I get her, she's gorgeous, you guys. I get her and I just, wait, not like that. Not like that, guys, not like that. Get in there, there we go, I like that. So she's growing on herself, I'm doing a project with her. Whew. But the goal was to come over here and do some propagating. I wanted to propagate my jungle boogie, um, simple because this rust is getting on my nerves, but this leaf and this leaf is like the only two that has major rust that's old rust this is semi new this is definitely new this up here is definitely new um, which is aggravating fairly aggravating so yeah we're going to do something about that um well was going to do something about that i don't know you guys she this corner looks lush you know and i really don't want to touch it but if need be, it definitely needs to be touched. Um, this girl Marks has just shot the crap out. Like, she's just, she don't care. Um, she needs some extra pruning. I might end up moving her. Um, I might put her outside for a little while to um, give her some extra light. Um, but we have to prune all this dead stuff off. And even if it's not dead we're going to go ahead and get rid of it um simply because i'll be back and most of these are just the white parts uh, when i did buy this there's a new leaf when i did um get this you guys it came from a very 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 bright situation which is literally outside so yeah i'm gonna get rid of that leaf that looks just horrid but yeah guys let's go ahead and get started i've just been running my mouth um, where are my shears? Um, let's start over here. Um, sorry about the light. If I notice as I get closer, it does that. 
that's random huh let's cut this light out you guys you'll still be able to see some of the summer stuff i'm getting rid of her i don't see how you guys grow a sub or start them but let me tell you ever since uh, that light aggravates me ever since um i got her she's just been nothing but pure hell and i mean pure with a capital p pure come on focus for me there we go yeah i don't know you guys i might just give her away or, or sell her for like ten dollars you can have it i'm over it so you'll definitely see her again in my 2022 um struggling plan is that a new growth i don't like holding this this thing here needs like an auto maybe i just don't know how to work it that's probably what that is i was looking at that which means that come on what are you doing with your life jesus you guys i'm like i'm over this jeez i'm trying to focus right there can you show the people <sighs> y'all this is not the day for this camera to be acting real there we go there's a new growth point there i still don't care but just thought i'll let you know um but i did love these of course because of those backs and that green that offset is like wonderful then you see a little shimmeries in there as well yeah i'm definitely getting rid of her you guys i just i can't anymore um Again, sorry about that flicking, but I definitely need to see so I don't chop off unnecessary stuff. Now, these here were those, you remember those brandies that we took? Let's see, can I set this up, you guys? One second. All right, guys, again, it's huge to fan if you can hear her, but these are the brandies here. Um, I kind of figured once I pull them up out of their situation, let's use these scissors. Once I pull, oh! I was trying to use my shears, but apparently the shears are not small enough, if that's a thing. To... Yeah, it's not small enough because it's not getting these little leaves off that I want it to get off here. But um, you guys remember, this is from the big specimen brandy that we once had that I, I killed. Um, they were grown in super high humidity situation. Oh, what? You know it's hard to kind of like record and keep the and look at the <sighs> guys if you're not a youtuber we don't look through the the camera to try to do our work i mean unless we're just doing regular recording but when we're doing stuff like this we do not look inside of the camera and then sometimes about time you look at the camera the camera is up here but you're working down here just because you're looking anyway but this was the um original 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 one um she's still alive a lot of these pieces are still alive they are growing back it's just that they took a real big hit it's not humid at all well i don't want to say that a lot it's not there we go again i was doing it again it's not super high hu humidity in here it's not super high um i had it right humidity in here um, how these were at like a zillion percent. Oh, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. That's fine. Um, this is the original one. She's still pushing along. Um, as you can see with these, there are. Come on, focus. What are you doing with your life? I need to figure out how to do the auto focus, you guys. Come on. There we go. There are new leafage coming in it just needs a little bit more time focus there we go a little bit more time um what else do we have a lot of these just honestly just need trimming whether it's the end of the leaf oh let's get up let's put this girl back over here again sorry about the flashing that you're going to see over in this section I'm trying to have this so we can get some type of light somewhere there we go um this girl you will see her again she's gorgeous just undeniably gorgeous um what else let's work on this here um whoa 
golden goddess. Now on this side, you can see on my tips here, um, we did do some burning. So um, I usually do more on my plants the same way, simply because I can keep up with what's going on compared to like leaving it on, a, on there and then I don't know if it has started or stopped. You get what I'm saying? If I need to do more flushing, more cleaning, more pruning. Yeah, hopefully you get what I'm saying. All right, um, let's get, this doesn't look too good. This one doesn't either. Um, this one's already gone. Let's get these here leaves out of here. Not back in there, get out. Um, this one looks sickly. Where'd it go? Let's get you out. Oh, apparently there's, I got it. All right, guys, since we are down here on the floor. Now, you know what another thing, you guys, that I can't seem to get right? I'm definitely not gonna give up on these. These are my OGs. Um, my oxtails, oxalis, I call them oxtails because if you eat oxtails, <laughs> You know what they look like but my oxtails are um, infamous for catching spider mites and I mean this has been a ongoing and I mean ongoing issue for some years come on you see that fairly fairly aggravating is it on my fingers I don't know but um, yes, this would have been a lot lusher than what she is, and usually she is, but I just went through and just went it with scissor hands on her. I'm, I just got tired of her, you guys. It's just ridiculous. So, you know, I just end up, I keep cutting her, and then if I see leaves like that, I just pull it off, and it has to start all the way back over. Yeah, that's that. Um, woo, we're going to pretend like I remember this name. I always seem to forget the name of this one here but to be honest with you it comes up when I'm not even paying her any attention um, it's part of the Calathea family somewhat um, oh god I don't know you guys is this what's on that can you see that no you can't see it without this freaking sorry about that guys I'm using my leg as a holster. There we go. You see that? So, yeah. Um, camp, camphorbia, cam, camphorbia, something like that. C a m p phorbia. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway. Um, so pretty. Of course, these backs get a lot darker than this, which makes these just a wonderful specimen. Oh, there's a new growth down there. Haven't seen the new growth in a while. Um, of course, she's doing somewhat okay. As you can see by there, there is some damage going on, which I'm pretty sure that is from, um, what's that stuff called? Fertilizing. Uh-oh, get my, let's move you out the way before I tear you up. She has another leaf. I'm loving this here. Um, what's this thing? Gloriosa. It has like a speckly, frosty type of vibe. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. There it is. This is wonderful. This is the newest leaf. This is the older leaf that you guys seen. I don't know where that hole came from. I probably did that. Or oh, is it this one? No, this is the other one. I don't know, but you definitely can see the little frosties which makes it look wonderful but she is growing you guys whoa she is fine this is not supposed to be a let's look at the plants part video uh, we're supposed to have been clipping dead stuff off all right um these be the same way burnage which i already know these came from underwater which suck because they were doing actually pretty good. They really were. Um, the only issue, I'm talking, I'm sorry you guys, these are the Silver Band Marantas. The only issue that I've had, 
Um, I might need to up the light some more. As you can see, the backs are not as red prominent as they're supposed to be. Kind of like this guy right here. Um, but all in all, checking for pests. You're doing good. You're doing good. Everyone is doing good. There are a few dead leaves in here. That one thing I don't like about Calathea is that you can't, and some a lot of other plants too, you can't like pull off a dead leaf. You have to go through all this extra unnecessary stuff to get dead leaves off, which I don't like. It's like, why can't I go outside and find a bug that loves dead leaves and only dead leaves? Leaves that has hit the ground type stuff. Um, that is. Also, oh, I don't know you guys. We're having troubles over here as well. Um, I already know what happened here. So there's nothing I can do about it. Aside from wait. Until the damage has completed itself. As you can see, leaves have been lost. And they're big leaves too. Which I don't, I don't like. But I do love this here begonia. Which is why she hasn't went anywhere. There we go. Um, a few dead over here, which is fine. On this here, my kings. Okay, okay. Ariel root. Gorge. This girl here, I'm just, you guys, I moved her stupidly to a lower light condition. And this is the only leaf that was keeping her alive was the leaf that I got oh crap was the leaf that I got when I purchased this here variegated um, barrel marks and she's only just continued to give me these and then I moved her from that crazy bright location there to a semi lower light conditions there look at that leaf there so she's not as you can see doing what she needs to do and I'm like so ticked off I've tried everything you guys and if you look at like the the leaves that are coming out the sheep it's confusing because like this one here come on focus for me focus for me I know you can do it there it is this leaf right there as you can see there's that green all upon it right but when it comes out that's a pretty see even on the stem look at my finger you know but they come out freaking yellow it's like the green just stops and this is you know f life i'm tired let's just do what we want to do and that's what the freak she's been doing what was that did you see okay nothing but this is what's left and i honestly do not come on focus 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 there we go this here is not like I don't know, so I might just have to put her back up here. Um, and she will definitely see her again, more than likely with her. Um, that's just so aggravating. What's going on down here? I thought about putting these in a smaller situation. Um, these are the synapses dark form. Ooh. So I'll just pick her own up then but as you can see since we did propagate you guys there is I'm um, sorry about that um, where are we huh there is a new leaf here what is this here they look a little spider mighty ish then it's not okay um this one here I think has shot out this one's the same way this one here shot out another new leaf as well but nothing else yet you guys and I think that is it from the cutting. Oh, wow. Cutting aspect. I need to get this leaf off right here. Which is, I mean, nothing is wrong with their side. From, I just don't like how it looks. Oh. And of course, that's just... You see, I could have just cut it in half and let it continue. Um, she's a Calathea. So it goes right out the door. Um, I have to get those dead ones to clean that one out. And I think that is it. This Mikings, this prayer plant, 88, 86% humidity, 79 degrees in here. 
Um, this green um, neon Pothos is fine, and my other Mikings, trailer Mikings, is actually doing pretty good. Everybody else is fine. She's growing, 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 grow, 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 grow. Yeah, so we're good on everything else, at least leaf wise. She's growing. We'll get into all this <laughs> who's growing and crap later on. Um, but as of right now, we are through. What is this? Do we have water in that? I need to get some water out here. Sorry about that. That's that looking through the not looking through the camera crap. Now, where did I put my shears? Here we go. Oh, I have my trusty extra sharp shears here to get the business done. I don't need any, um, you know, last time it was pulling. I don't need that. That was aggravating. Especially when you're trying to get stuff done. Oh, step up here. All right, let's clear some of this stuff off. And I noticed too, shears only work with like hard, <laughs> excuse me, more harder stems when I'm when they're soft like that I just seen those here they go when they're soft like that one as you just see me try to do it doesn't see only scissors get those I don't know don't ask there we go looking through the not looking through the camera thing again there's like a whole a lot of going on right here Does that come out? No, it doesn't. All right. Okay, I think I got all the dead stuff towards the bottom there. There's a dead one here. Um, here, we're gonna take this one too. Oh, this one is spreaded. I can actually chop and prop this one this piece here as you can see um, there's the bump node there where you can I love seeing that pink the stem that's gorgeous but you can proper chopper and proper right there and this becomes a whole entire plant all right let's get these dead pieces out of here as many as possible that I see this one needs to come out too. Yeah, this is not going. There it is. Uh oh, I almost chopped the leaf off. That is not good. All right, let's get this one. And I think that is it for at least cleaning her up. I might leave that one, but as you can see, the white is starting to fade on her. All right. Let's throw this here stuff down on the floor all right guys but i think that is it in here for now um we shall return back all right guys um we're just about through in here i might have to do maybe two or three more things in here but just to let you guys know you see how just a disgusting a disgusting 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 every letter of the alphabet alphabet disgusted the floor is so that'll definitely be our last project um is to clean all the crap off the floor that we threw down over the past week or so but yeah we're almost through it just looks freaking awesome in here aside from the floor but all right guys it's miss green ember up there look at a new leaf farting off she's so cute and i think that is it um as you just seen from the other video, I was thinking about propagating that jungle boogie, but um, she seems to be fine over in that corner, but I can tell by those rust spots, excuse me, that she's getting a little bit too much water, which I'm pretty sure is condensation, even though sometimes I do spray the leaves. So what I'm going to end up doing with her um, is moving her down to something that's lower we all know that the higher you go up in the air the higher the humidity is so we're going to bring her down i think exactly where those synapses my synapses corner is um push her down in there there's light down there as well so um and that's even if i cut her if, if i don't i still move her if i do i'll definitely still move her but she will get moved regardless 
And um, I was thinking about propagating that epipremnum, the Cebu blue as well. Oh, there's actually five. I also have that Baltic blue out there that I might have to cut up some more because, you know, I have the trailing, I have like two, three of the longer trailing vines that I cut off the mother plant. Um, I might just cut them up into nodes, which I probably should have done. Um, I might just go ahead and do it once I get through with this and go from there because it's too long. I mean, it's not too long, but there's not enough root system to support that vine, which is, again, why she's in there. Um, like maybe two or three roots in there, maybe three or four inches long. Usually you can pile up a plant like that, but if there's a lot of leaves and things in that situation, then um, the leaves will fall off and then some of the plant will die back and you have to go through all that unnecessary stuff. But um, yeah, I might just end up cutting, her, cutting that vial up some more and then just propagating those leaves and get a couple of nice size pots of Baltic blue. I don't know if I said CB blue. The Baltic blue um, as well. But that is it, guys. I have this here node that is going to go with a nice variegation nice pink variegation um it's going to go in the prop box and again these props will not make the market <laughs> the market will not make it to the what is that place called the shop um until maybe september simply because i want all these well rooted and be ready to go at least about time <laughs> at least about time it hits your door but that is it. I need to put the rest of this here sphagnum moss. Um, this sphagnum moss didn't fit inside of these little sticks I was telling you guys about. They're just everywhere. But um, this is going back down inside of the spag bin. And that is it. Um, the next video, hopefully, again, there's no more dead itch going out there. But there has been an accident, a very, very horrible accident. So there will be. A few more plants that are right now was like two, and I think the rest of them has got accustomed to my my mess ups. So yeah, that that should be the next video, uh, which will be linked to another video, and then after that video, I probably am going to go ahead and start potting these up because roots are just the water roots. It doesn't matter because you know what all it matters oh it matters because i said i was going to try to grow these in soil we're going to try to grow something else in soil simply because these have nice water roots and water roots they work fantastically with sphagnum moss and i would prefer to keep my plants and roots and things this has too much water plants and roots and things alive so what we're going to do is just put her right on down in that good old sphagnum moss. And um, I'm trying to get this little girl out of the water because she's grown. But these roots are everywhere and trying to keep roots submerged and keep newer leaves that have hatched from up under the water. It's a lot going on. But um, let's a little bit more water. All right, guys, that is it here for today's video. Please do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Also, comment down below. Um, let me know if you're looking for some of these. Some people have already contacted me um, via social media, emails, things of that such. So let me know which ones they're wanting. So with that being said, you know, the only thing I can do is just move them to the side. So if there's anything that you are looking for, please do me a favor, contact me. Um, and let me know exactly which ones you want before they actually hit the store. And then once they hit the store, you know, they're gone like that. And then you might miss the day that they're on, on the shop. So I don't know. But let me know. Send me some type of smoke signal or something. Let me know if you are looking for some of these. And if I have multiples, I will definitely put one back for you. And we can go from there. Uh, my social handles are down in the description box as well. Go and check those out. A lot of things that I do use here over on the channel will be down in the description box as well. Do me a favor and go and check those out. Um, they can save you some coin as well. Um, and I think that is it. Make sure you're subscribed, you guys. We are on the road to a thousand. I'm not sure we'll be at like nine. 
40 something, 46, 48. It's one of those little circle numbers. Um, 49. Um, make sure the notification bell is on. It's able to keep you notified that you know what's going on over at Plant with Pete. And I think that is it. Um, yeah, make sure to subscribe. Make sure the notification bell. Um, and make sure you share the video. And that is it. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, Jesus.